So my next tip involves using the loop in point on the CD deck and the cue button and the play button to basically create a hot cue. Uh, now a lot of CDJs don't have hot cue buttons, whereas the 2000s have the A, B and C buttons. Um, but all CDJs have a loop function which allows you to set the cue point in real time. So many people don't know that the actual loop in point is actually setting where the cue point is. So this technique involves setting a new cue point whilst the track plays using the loop in button and then basically hitting the cue and the play button in quick succession in order to re-trigger the point that you just set as a cue point. So what this means is you can create a hot cue on the fly using any CDJ as long as it's got the loop section and the cue point, uh, point and a play button. So I'm gonna basically play this track, set the cue point with the in button, then I'll show you how to do it. So you basically gotta slide your hand across the cue and the play button, which means it returns to the cue point and plays from that point. So. As you can see, it takes a bit of practice. What you've got to be very careful of is that you don't press the pause button without pressing the cue button, because that will mean you'll have the nightmare of any DJ, which is this, the music stopping, and then your entire crowd is gonna start booing you. So one little fail safe to get around that in case you're not gonna do it correctly each time. If you change the brake speed on your deck to slow, then it means if you accidentally catch the play button without hitting Q, it won't stop the audio, it will just slow down and hopefully you'll notice that the music's slowing down and then press pause. So I'll give you an example of that. Obviously slowing down music is a lot better than complete silence. So that's a little safeguard if you are gonna try and do it. It's worth practicing it. It's obviously a very useful technique. It means you can jump back to the start of a track if you're reaching the end of a track and you know your cue point is set already at the beginning. You can just hit it and it will jump all the way back to the beginning meaning you don't have to worry about setting a loop or whatever. Um, yeah, so it's a very useful trick. Uh, just be careful that you don't stop the tune in front of a live audience.